First off, let's talk about what PTZ means. It means pan, tilt, zoom. This camera right here, according to this packet, is actually a bit ambiguous on it. So let me explain. It, it says on the front page here that, it so first off, pan uh, is zero degrees to 355 degrees, which is, I'm guessing, how much you can rotate it by. However, if we look further on here, we can see that it says that it has 320 degree rotation and it says here it has 320 degree rotation. So it's a bit ambiguous, but maybe it's because the lens of the camera is 125 degree wide angle. And I'll talk about that later. But first, let's get to tilt. This is where it's a bit confusing now, because here it says it's zero degrees to 90 degrees. Okay. 110 degrees to tilt the, uh, to, to zero, zero degrees to 110 degrees tilt range. And now it says 90. This packet is a bit ambiguous on what the actual tilt capabilities of this camera is. Finally, this one is actually not ambiguous. It has a five times optical zoom which the difference between optical zoom and digital zoom, if you didn't know, is that digital zoom just zooms in the picture by uh, enlarging a section of it, while optical zoom actually uses, uh, it actually moves the lens inside the camera in order to get a clearer picture. So optical zoom five times is very good compared to digital zoom. That out of the way, I know I, I stumbled a bit on the tilt, but next we're gonna talk about the other capabilities. So, this camera has a 1080, 1080 degree, no, 1080p resolution, so very high quality. It's very front heavy, if you didn't see right there. Uh, it has Wi-Fi capabilities, so it can connect to the Wi-Fi, and you can even use a um, phone to view it using a ICC app, or ICC Pro. And let me just... And it's basically like, if you've seen my videos on the HiCU and VR kit, we can actually view it remotely. So let me just go to that app. You can see that I can view what I have on the security camera right now. So this camera, if you couldn't tell from the name of Wi-Fi Smart Camera, can connect to the Wi-Fi. This camera can also connect to NVR, such as this. Because it is on VIF compliant, I mentioned this earlier in a different video, but uh, ONVIF stands for Open Network Video Interface Forum, which is basically just this organization that uh, organizes the protocols for security cameras. So any NVR that is ONVIF compatible should be able to connect with this smart camera. But that will be discussed in a later video. Next on for the features, we have Motion Detection Alarm. I said earlier that I hypothesized that the way this motion detection alarm works is that they detect big changes in the video image. So if you're standing at a still image like this, if you see like a big blob of the video changing, then that's what it would alert you. But actually what it does is it alerts you when it detects uh, a human or an animal temperature. And the way it does that is because it has night vision. So the way this is related is because night vision uses infrared so infrared is, allows you to see the temperature of things so the motion detection alarm when a human or animal temperature is detection detected the security camera will send real-time movement alert to your phone app email and record in the sd card so two useful features night vision and motion detection next off is two-way audio this means that the camera has both a speaker and a microphone a speaker for if you want to use an intercom system, and a microphone for receiving audio. So I guess the, the example that they use is that if you have a delivery man that's delivering you a package, um, hey, you got a package. So you can hear him say that, <laughs> and then you can say through the intercom, okay, please put it in the doorway. Okay, so if you don't want to come to the door, I guess that's useful, or if you're in the shower, I guess. So many useful applications for that. All right, so now 
we're going to actually demonstrate what the two-way audio sounds like. So I guess in this sense, this video is going to be a bit of demonstration. It's not all too boring. So by the way, if you are going to use a camera like this and you see someone approaching your house, it's probably a good idea not to say that I'm that you're not home because if they know that there's a security camera there, they're, they're pretty much already ventured into it. They're probably going to do it anyway because now they know that you're not home. So listen for the Connecting, please wait. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's creepy. If a mailman heard it, I'm Connect sure to router successfully. I'm sure they'd be scared out of their living daylights or some something like that. <laughs> the next feature is now that we're done with the creepy two-way audio, I can unplug it. The next feature is that it's IP66 waterproof. Now I don't have an idea what IP66 means. I think I said it in one of my previous videos. But I'm pretty sure that just means that it's kind of weatherproof. So I should mention that the reason that it's a bit weatherproof is because there's a bit of a rubber gasket in between here. Uh, you might have seen it in our previous video. However, if you don't completely tighten the screws here, water might be able to seep in and through the rubber ga and around the rubber gasket into the electronics. So that's a bit of concern that we have. So in order to avoid that, my dad is thinking of putting some sealant around the edges in order to avoid water seeping in if we install it under some rain. So the downside of that is that we're probably not gonna be able to take it off, maybe, but the upside is that it's gonna be completely weatherproof. So it doesn't say here directly, but I think the difference between IP66 and IP65, which is another classification, is that IP66 cameras can handle a much larger range of temperature. Uh, I'm not going to say the specific range because I don't want to be the uh, like very wrong. So you can search it up if you want to, but it's IP66 waterproof. Finally, it's um, TF card storage. Now, what does that mean? Uh, I probably couldn't tell you if I just saw TF card storage, but what that means is this card, this camera can accept micro SD cards of up to 64 gigabytes. Let me get, just go to the page to make sure. Yes, it can accept to up to 65 gigabyte uh, TF card storage. Uh, let's see, supports on booth. Like, like I said before, the SD card isn't included. Wait, that TF card, SD card, wait. All right, so that caught me off guard. I wasn't sure what I was referring to because I thought the camera only accepted micro SD cards because when we opened it up, it appeared to me like it only had a micro SD card slot, but apparently it might accept regular SD cards. Um, that's what I was talking about, the difference between TF and SD cards. So continuing on from that, let me just make sure that there's any more things to talk about. Like I said before, remote monitoring, I already showed you on my phone. Uh, by the way, this only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5 gigahertz. I thought I should just mention that because that was a pain to deal with when we were trying to set it up. Um, also has wired Ethernet cable transmission. Uh, as it says right here, let's see. I guess I should mention 2.8 to 12 millimeter lens. Like I said before, 125 degree wide angle, which means that basically it's see if, if you put it in the corner of a 125 degree corner you'd be able to see all of it <laughs> i don't know how how other another way to describe it but basically you can see that much uh has a reset button i showed that earlier uh and finally they also have what's included and i think the the best part about what's included is that it just says some screws they don't, they don't say exactly how many screws are included, it just says some screws. I thought that was just funny. You don't have to think it's funny, okay? But anyway, I think that's it for the features. So that's all for the features of the, that's a different name, the PTZ 5x optical zoom IP camera. But we have it known as the Wi-Fi smart... Oh, okay. Yikes. Like I said, front heavy, but we know it as the the Wi-Fi smart camera. Uh, but like I said before, the model number is WHD702A. All right, so that's all for now. In the next video, we'll probably show you how to set the camera uh, either by itself or to an NVR. So stay tuned for that. But for now, 
I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. You made it to the end of the video, uh, just hearing my voice. I can't imagine what a deal that was for you. <laughs> but I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Ayman, especially the home security and video surveillance systems. And for now, that's it. Signing out.